The UX and UI design industry is full of mixed signals right now. Big tech companies are using AI to automate design tasks. The software employment index has been contracting, but design founders on X are sharing all time high monthly revenues for their studios. So what's really going on? Now I've spent 15 years watching this entire industry transform from working as a designer to running an agency and then building an online design school, which I'm still running. And now I'm also bootstrapping my own product. I've seen both the opportunities and the harsh realities that nobody actually talks about. So in this video, I'm going to break down whether UX and UI design is actually worth pursuing in 2025. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything, just real data and analysis, which you can decide for yourself. But to answer this question properly, we need to zoom out and look at something bigger first. Most YouTube videos about UX and UI design either hype it up as a dream career or claim AI will kill it and completely. The truth is more complex and it actually starts with understanding what's really happening in tech. So let's take a look at some quick data. In 2024, we saw some major economic headwinds which caused tech layoffs, impacting hundreds of thousands of big tech employees. But here's what most people missed. According to Indeed.com, the job growth rate was nearly 300% between 2021 and 2022 in the US alone. That doesn't sound sustainable to me. So in 2023, we see a decline because companies overextended themselves from elevated gains and animal spirits in the markets. So technically, the UX design industry is not dying per se. It's because companies overcommitted to hiring during good times in 2021 and 2022, then suddenly realized they needed to cut those opportunities back, which led to a sudden oversupply of talent and a reduced number of available opportunities. But there's another major shift happening that's even more important. The expectation of a UX and UI designer in 2025 is completely different from what it was 10 years ago. As UX designers, you are really responsible for a lot more. When I first entered the industry 15 years ago, a UX designer was responsible for doing one thing, designing one desktop breakpoint in Photoshop. Now we're designing for multiple platforms, multiple breakpoints, building design systems, prototyping, and even building websites. Speaking of websites, I hand to heart believe the best platform to build web beautiful, fast, and incredible websites is actually Framer, who has kindly enough sponsored this video. Now I personally have three paid Framer sites, which include my personal site, my agency site, and also my upcoming startups website. There are so many things I personally love about Framer, but the one thing that stands out from the rest is that when you are designing, you are actually building the website at the same time, which means you can ship more websites in half the time. If you're interested, there's a link in the description to learn more about Framer. But once again, hand to heart, it is one of my favorite tools. All right, so back to the video. To confirm my assessment, I reached out to a couple of my mates that are in design leadership roles. And here's what they have to say about what they expect from a UX and UI designer. Probably the most important one of all right now is the ability to problem solve. So we'll be presenting them with a design challenge and we'll be really evaluating the ability to deconstruct the problem, see if they can actually look at the problem from multiple angles and pers perspectives and maybe even apply it to different contexts get them to run through their design process thinking and what sort of methodologies they apply, but also rationalize how they got to their end-to-end -end solution well. I've hired designers recently, and the most important thing for me has been their ability to ship. I think the job of a designer is to make something better for a user, for someone, for a person. How do you know if you've actually made someone's life better, you never actually ship the dang thing? So job opportunities haven't been growing as fast as we'd hope. There's a lot more competition in the market and expectations are higher for those without a job. So is UX and UI design actually worth it in 2025? Personally, I still think so because there's a caveat. I just think it's a little more challenging than before. But let's not forget the setup for 2025 is a little different than the last four years. 
because of what has just happened in the US, the elections. Now, without getting too political here, we are going from an administration that really limited business growth to one that is most pro-business ever. With US looking to revitalize their economy, deregulate some of their key tech sectors. We're signing a regulation bill and you might want to discuss it, please. Somebody could yes, explain it. This is an executive order called Unleashing Prosperity Through Deregulation. So it slashes unnecessary regulations, which will put more money in Americans' pockets unleash economic growth and guarantee that the United States of America remains the strongest competitor on the world market. And in order to achieve that, this order requires a rigorous regulatory budget process. So for each new regulation issued, at least 10 prior regulations will be identified for elimination. Businesses should be growing and they will hopefully be able to innovate a lot more, which means more jobs globally and hopefully an uptick in the UX design jobs. But that's not the most important thing in my opinion. As I mentioned in an older video about UX and UI design and whether it is still worth it or not, I still stand firmly that being a UX and UI designer is a great hedge for the future. So we all know that AI is going to have a significant impact on the workforce. So if you can surround yourself with smart, forward-thinking people familiar with the technology, and you're also living and breathing the technology, you are better positioned than anyone else and the majority of the population in a tech-led future. So UX and UI design in 2025 is worth it only if you're willing to adapt and challenge yourself with expanding responsibilities, you're excited about working alongside AI and emerging technologies, you're ready to build broader technical skills beyond just design, you're looking to position yourself for a tech-driven future. It's probably not right if you're looking for quick wins in this current market, or if you're just unwilling to take on expanded responsibilities of the modern UX and UI design roles. So those are my final thoughts. So once again, I personally believe that UX and UI design is a great industry to be in. If you weren't to pick UX and UI, what other technology or what other sector or industry do you actually think can provide as much as the UX and UI design one. Now, once again, I can't ignore the fact that it probably is a little bit more saturated. It is a little bit more difficult to uh, land a job, but if you can break through that initial hurdle, I believe the industry has so much to offer to you. So let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts? If you like this video, make sure to gently smash the like button, subscribe for the Die Hard fans. And if you wanna keep learning, you can definitely check out some of my courses or check out one of the videos that are about to pop up. Peace.